Gentlemen, uh, as you well know, over the years, downstate Illinois has seen a mass exodus of state jobs moving from Springfield to Chicago. Under your administration, what would the workforce look like? Would you attempt to move some of that exodus back to Springfield? Because people here in downstate, as you well know, are very proud that this is the state capital and not Chicago. Would you look to be moving those jobs back here? Mr. Rutherford. I'm first? Great. Uh, well, let me just give you a testimony. I'm the Treasurer of the State of Illinois. I'm the only constitutional officer standing up here. And the answer is yes. Now, to be fair to Chicago, you know, it's an important part of the state of Illinois, and we need to be fair to Chicago. But by testimony, right now, my chief of staff is based here in Springfield. My deputy chief of staff is here in Springfield. My other deputy chief of staff is here in Springfield. My director of legislative affairs is here. My director of unclaimed property. My director of college savings. In fact, i got to think about it. I think I have one director in Chicago. So this is not being biased downstate or upstate. I happen to understand where the seat of government is and where the operations of government is, and I intend to operate that way. Mr. Dillard. Springfield's the capital of Illinois, not Chicago. And um, we must have the workforce be here in Springfield. Uh, this is where it belongs. When I, uh, I've lived in Springfield as a staff member down here uh, for the governors that I've worked for. I was married right up the road in Elkhart in Logan County in a small farming community. And uh, the workforce must be in Springfield. This is where your systems are. Um, as Governor Edgar's chief of staff, we required our cabinet to live in Springfield because this is where you govern from. Governor, if you want to be the governor of Illinois, you need to live in the governor's residence here. If you want to be the CEO of General Motors, you've got to live in Detroit. You've got to be here. You've got to be here to be five minutes away from a legislature that every now and then, in fact, more than every now and then, needs pulling back in. So yes, Vince, uh, the workforce uh, has to be moved back here. Uh, when I go downtown Springfield and remember what it used to be like, there are thousands of fewer people there um, every day, and the workforce needs to be in Springfield, and government operates more efficiently when the government is here in Springfield. Mr. Rauner, do you agree with the, uh, uh, the stance of uh, your, co your, your uh, foes here, uh, Mr. Dillard and Mr. Ruthford? The issue boils down to I'm cost yes. and productivity. Cost and productivity. We have got to bring down the cost of government, drive up the productivity of the workers inside the government. That is essential. Our tax burden is too high. Our spending is too high. We've got to bring that down. I'm going to transform our state government. I want to see it run more like a business. And we'll do that throughout the state, wherever the productivity and the, and the uh, cost saving can be the most significant. My role model for this is Mitch Daniels. When he became governor of Indiana, he brought in 30 superstars from the private sector, from the business sector, and he brought them to the state capitol and said, let's drive up the productivity, shrink the spending, and transform our state government. He did a fantastic job. We need to do the same thing here. But if, I, but if I could interrupt you, I'm not sure I'm getting an answer as to whether you would move those jobs, or at least try to move some of these jobs back to Springfield from Chicago. Uh, because we have to look at, and I can't sit here today and say, where will the cost be lowest? Where will the productivity be the highest? I'm guessing that Springfield might be lower cost, higher productivity than Chicago. I think that's a reasonable guess. I don't know today. We'll find out very quickly once we uh, have an administration in place. I personally, my wife and I, are going to move to Springfield. I'm excited to do it. It would be an honor to live in the governor's residence in Springfield. I love Springfield. It's a beautiful community. It's a great part of the state. I'm looking forward to living here. And the, the government, this is the seat of government. Much government activity should be here. But it's all about driving down the spending, making our government productive and efficient. That's what will drive our decisions. Okay. Mr. Brady. Well, I don't have to guess, Vince. I know that we need to move more jobs back from Chicago to Springfield. This is the seat of state government. I know it's more efficient and effective to do it. We've seen it in better years. So absolutely, uh, we need to do that. And as governor, I will live and work here because this is where the work will be done. Uh, we need a governor who's going to move his family here. Nancy and I will move and live here in the governor's mansion because that's where you do the job. But we've seen far too much of Chicago politicians attacking downstate Illinois. And if I might use some of my time to talk about one incident. Uh, we see not only the exodus of state government jobs from Springfield to Chicago, but we've seen the lack of a empathy for private sector jobs. And just to give you one example, last session we passed a bill that not only would have kept ADM's corporate headquarters in Illinois, in Chicago, but would have rebuilt another 100 jobs per year. 
Now, when it came to Allstate and when it came to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, we were there willing to help the Chicago politicians in their area because it was a win-win. But when it came to Decatur, Illinois, Macon County, what happened? Governor Quinn turned a deaf ear. We need a governor who can represent all of Illinois. I'm tired of all the control coming from the Chicago metropolitan area. As a resident and a native of Bloomington, Illinois, I understand that there's more value to this state than just Chicago. I want Chicago to be a great state, but I want the rest of Illinois to thrive and prosper equally, and as governor, I'll deliver on that.